Our new memory verse for this week is John 12, verse 26. If anyone serves me, let him follow me. These boys are going to play follow the leader. See if you can follow them as well. What are you doing, Daniel? I'm praising the Lord. What are you doing now? I'm We're praying. Okay, now it's Hendrik's turn. Hendrik, what are you doing? I'm reading the Bible. So our new memory verse today is John 12, verse 26. If anyone serves me, let him follow me. It says, serving. What does serving mean? That means to do whatever God says to you, you should do. Now, how will we know what to do? We need to read God's word because everything that he wants us to do is he says in the word. He tells us to obey our parents, to love each other, to be, be kind and obedient. So if we read our Bibles, then we are serving the Lord Jesus and let him follow me. So who's this me that they are talking about? That is God, of course, yes. So if you cho chose to be his child, you would want to serve him in everything that you do, whether you are schooling or playing or sharing the word with someone. By doing that, you are following him doing exactly as Jesus did when he was here on earth. Hello everybody, my name is Emma the Elephant. Hi Auntie Lise Marie. Hello Emma, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Emma, I have a question for you. Have you ever thought about what you would want to be one day when you grow up? Um, sort of. I was thinking of becoming a nut collector. Oh, that's a nice idea. Emma, I have another question. Do you think that God cares about what you become? Oh, yes, of course. God has a plan with your life. That's right. God does have a plan for your life. As a child of God, he wants you to serve him. And you know what else, Emma? He wants you to serve him with your ears. Yes, your big ears and your eyes, with your nose, with your mouth, with your hands and even with your feet. The Lord God wants us to serve him with everything that we have and that we are. Emma, do you know anybody that is serving the Lord Jesus in, as a full-time job? Oh, yes. Like... Tommy Yolanda and Uncle De Beer and Danny Marie? Marie? Yes. You, uh, you know what? Maybe, maybe, just maybe, Emma, the Lord Jesus wants you to become a pastor or a mission, missionary one day. Have you ever thought about that? Uh, no, not really. Not really. Well, you know what? The moment you've decided to follow Jesus, he wants you to serve him, whether you are a missionary or a fine young nut collector, it doesn't matter as long as you serve him with all your heart, willing to do everything, anytime, what he's asking of you. So will you follow him and serve him with all your heart? Oh, yes. That's good. Auntie Lisley, please tell me what's going to happen next in the story of Elijah. Let's go find out. <gasps> Do you remember that Queen Jezebel threatened Elijah's life 
And he became so depressed that he ran away. To encourage Elijah, God led him to a man named Elisa. He would be his helper. What was Elisa doing again when Elijah found him? Yes, he was plowing with some oxen in the field. When Elijah spread his robe over Elisa, it was a sign that God had chosen Elisa to serve him, the Lord, as his life's work. Over the next few years, Elisa helped Elijah in any way that he possibly could. He had so much to learn about serving God. Elisa knew that Elijah would not always be there to teach him. Both Elijah and Elisa also trained a group of men called the Sons of the Prophets. The Sons of the Prophets were being trained so that they could teach God's word to the people of Israel. Finally, the time came when God was going to take Elijah home to heaven. Somehow, God had let Elijah know this. Elijah was not afraid. In fact, he was very excited. Elisa also knew that Elijah was soon going to heaven. He must have been excited for Elijah too. But maybe he was a bit sad for himself, losing his friend and teacher. Elisa and Elijah was in a town called Gilgal, when Elijah told Elisa that God wanted him to go on to Bethel. He encouraged the younger man to stay in Gilgal while he went on alone. But Elisa refused to stay. No, I will not leave you, Elisa said. I'm determined to stay with you until God takes you to heaven. They travelled to the next town where the sons of the prophets were waiting for them. Somehow these men also knew that Elijah was soon going to heaven. They said to Elisa, don't you know that the Lord is going to take away your master today? Yes, I know, said Elisa. But I'm going to stay with Elijah till the Lord takes him home. So on they went to the next town. Elijah again asked Elisa to stay behind. But Elisa once again refused and said, No, I am determined to follow you. Till the Lord takes you Once home. again, Elijah said to Elisa, Stay here, for the Lord has sent me to the Jordan. But for a third time, Elisa answered that he would not leave his friend. The prophets followed at a distance as Elijah and Elisa walked toward the Jordan River. The two men stopped at the river's edge. The Jordan ran wide and deep. And Elisa must have wondered what they would do now. He watched as Elijah took off his robe, rolled it up and struck the water with it. He watched. Immediately the waters parted, revealing a dry path down the middle. Elijah and Elisa walked across on dry ground. This was a miracle! that only God could do. When Elijah and Elisa reached the other side, Elijah asked, What shall I do for you before I am taken away? Without hesitating, Elisa answered, Please let me have a double portion of the Holy Spirit so that I can have the power and the strength to serve God. Suddenly, something amazing happened. A fast approaching chariot and horses of fire appeared in the sky. The chariot and the horses came between the men and a mighty wind came, swirling like a tornado. Elijah was swept up by the wind and carried to heaven. In deep sadness that he would no longer see Elijah on earth, Elisa tore his robe then Elisa saw something lying on the ground. It was Elijah's robe that had fallen. After all the excitement and the sadness, Elisa 
went back to the Jordan River, holding Elijah's robe in his hand. Across the wide flowing waters, the sons of the prophets waited and watched. Taking Elijah's robe in his hands, Elisa struck the water and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Immediately the waters parted, proving to Elisa he had received the power from the living God to be God's servant. Elisa crossed over on dry ground. Seeing this miracle, the sons of the prophet said, God who worked through Elijah is now working through Elisa. They recognized Elisa as their new leader. But how can I serve Jesus? I can serve the Lord while doing my best in my schoolwork. I can also serve the Lord by helping my mom in the house. I can serve the Lord by reading my Bible. And here it says, children, obey your parents. So I'm going to obey my parents. John 12 verse 26. If anyone serve me, let them God's plan for your life? If you chose to follow Jesus, God wants you to serve him. Are you willing to read and obey God's word each day? I pr will pray that you and I will follow Jesus' example this week.